Hi. Well, what's, uh, what's going on here? Uh, I'd like to start my series in evolutionary theory uh, with a computer simulation created by Sims and Lindgren. Uh, what these scientists did uh, is create an entire virtual world. Uh, its physical laws and a population of evolving virtual creatures. It's the same sort of software that uh, generates computer shootout games. Uh, except in, in this particular uh, game, uh, Sims uh, made the game players, the virtual creatures themselves. Uh, there's no outside intervention by human beings once the game started. Uh, it becomes a closed world unto itself. Now the, the creatures are built up based on a genetic system which uh, defines uh, a, a morphology. And morphology means the structure of their body and the creature's nervous or neural system, uh, which is the way the creatures move and sense. Uh, he then set them in a, a contest to get some virtual food. Uh, if the creatures succeeded in these efforts, uh, they had a better chance of reproducing themselves. Just like real life, isn't it? Uh, in reproduction, he allowed mutation to take place in their genetic coding. Uh, the basic conditions uh, that are set up in this simulation allows for the process of natural selection to take place. So what happens? Uh, what happens is that the creatures evolve. They become more complex. The creatures that survive evolve to develop an incredible range of fighting techniques, novel tricks, ploys and counterploys, all related to the competitive environment and the strategies of the competitors they have to face in the population. What this illustrates is that evolution will take place whenever the conditions exist where there is reproduction and to struggle for existence. That's all it takes. This was all clearly explained in 1859 when Charles Darwin published his theory of evolution. In the next few videos, I'm going to show how evolution is also explainable in mathematical terms, mostly uh, by using game theory and feedback theory. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to uh, get very mathematic. I'm just going to describe how mathematics does it. Evolution is just as describable in, in mathematical terms as the orbits of the solar system are mathematically describable with Newton's laws of motion. It's pretty impressive stuff.